the heart of one of the most barren and desolate places on Earth, the Atacama Desert in Chile. But hold on to your cosmic hats, because amidst the stark emptiness of this otherworldly landscape, something truly extraordinary is taking shape. The construction of Earth's mightiest eye into the universe, the $2 billion behemoth known as the Extremely Large Telescope, or ELT. But why, you may ask, would anyone choose such an inhospitable locale for such a monumental endeavor? Well, dear viewers, it's precisely because of its inhospitability that the Atacama Desert was selected. You see, this place isn't just dry, it's bone dry, with less moisture than your Aunt Mabel's desert pie on a hot summer's day. And that's exactly what makes it perfect for peering deep into the cosmos. Perched atop the lofty peaks of Cerro Amazonas, standing tall at a dizzying altitude of 3,000 meters, the ELT stands as a beacon of human ingenuity in the face of nature's harshest elements. Situated at a staggering 1,300 kilometers away from the bustling streets of Santiago, the capital of Chile, and a further 130 kilometers from the nearest town, Taltal, getting here isn't a walk in the park. It's more like a lunar rover expedition across an alien landscape, nestled snugly between the mighty Andes and the vast expanse of the Pacific Ocean. And if you think this is just some isolated outpost in the cosmic wilderness, think again. The ELT's not-so-distant cousin, the Very Large Telescope, or VLT, is already calling this cosmic desert home, just a stone's throw away. And with both telescopes falling under the watchful eye of the European Southern Observatory, Chile is quickly becoming the go-to destination for astronomers from all corners of the globe. From probing the atmospheres of distant exoplanets for signs of life, to unraveling the mysteries of the early universe, the ELT is poised to rewrite the cosmic playbook. And with its cutting-edge adaptive optics system, it can even compensate for the blurring effects of Earth's pesky atmosphere, delivering images sharper than a cosmic razor blade. Now picture this. We're venturing into one of the most unforgiving landscapes on our planet, the barren desert of the Atacama, nestled in Chile. It's a place where the human presence is scarce, but where dreams of cosmic discovery are abundant. Here, against the backdrop of the rugged terrain, a team of dedicated individuals is hard at work, piecing together an engineering marvel that's set to redefine our understanding of the cosmos. Welcome to the Atacama Desert, where the stage is set for the birth of the extremely large telescope, fondly known as the ELT. This mammoth of a telescope is perched atop Cerro Amazonas, standing tall at a staggering altitude of 3,000 meters. That's like reaching for the stars themselves. But wait, there's more. Situated far from the glow of city lights, the ELT remains untouched by pesky light pollution giving astronomers a front-row seat to the wonders of the universe. It's like having a VIP pass to the greatest cosmic show on Earth. And with its older sibling, the Very Large Telescope, just a stone's throw away, Chile is quickly cementing its status as the ultimate playground for stargazers worldwide. But who's the brains behind this celestial spectacle, you ask? Enter the European Southern Observatory, a powerhouse organization uniting 16 European nations alongside Australia and, of course, Chile. These cosmic trailblazers are on a mission to push the boundaries of astronomical discovery, and boy are they delivering. With a budget that would make even Elon Musk do a double take, over $2 billion, folks, the ELT is a testament to human ingenuity and our insatiable thirst for knowledge. Now, rewind back to 2010, when the seeds of this astronomical endeavor were first planted. Fast forward to today, and we're witnessing history in the making as construction on the ELT kicks into high gear. But hey, better late than never, right? While the original service commencement was slated for 2018, we all know that greatness takes time, and in this case, a whole lot of it. Now let's talk timelines, folks. While the original operational date got a little cosmic shuffle, the countdown to greatness is still on. With a new target set for as early as 2028, the race to unveil the secrets of the universe is officially underway. And guess what? As of July 11, 2023, we've hit a major milestone. Construction has officially reached the halfway mark. But buckle up, because we're just getting started. So how do you kick off the construction of something this monumental? Well, you don't just lay down a fancy foundation stone, you go big. And by big, I mean explosives big. That's right, we're talking about leveling the summit of the revered Amazonas mountain to make way for the observatory of our dreams. It's a process that kicked off back in 2014, with a whopping 220,000 cubic meters of rock blasted away to create a level playing field. Talk about making room for greatness. Now, picture this. A vast platform stretching 50 meters wide and 300 meters long, serving as the canvas for our cosmic masterpiece. 
and from that solid foundation, a workforce of dedicated individuals, ranging from 160 to 220 strong, has been working tirelessly day in and day out to bring this vision to life. Let me tell you folks, they're not just contending with your average work conditions. We're talking extreme desert heat and rapid dehydration. It's a challenge that requires gallons of water and some serious UV protection. But hey, nothing worth building ever came easy, right? But wait, there's more. Picture a colossal dome rising from the desert floor, a true testament to human engineering prowess. Standing 88 meters wide and 80 meters tall, this ain't your grandma's backyard gazebo. We're talking about a structure that puts the Statue of Liberty to shame and then some. And get this, the sheer weight of this behemoth? A staggering 6,100 tons, with doors that weigh a cool 400 tons each. Talk about heavy lifting, but it's not just about the size. It's about functionality, too. With a 360-degree slide mechanism that allows astronomers to point their telescopes towards any corner of the starry sky, this mega-telescope is a game-changer in every sense of the word. And to top it all off, we've got a photovoltaic power plant on standby, ready to keep things running smoothly and safely even in the face of seismic risks. But let's not forget the heart of this cosmic cathedral, the telescope itself. Equipped with five colossal mirrors that'll capture the faintest whispers of light from the far reaches of the universe, this is where the real magic happens. It's a tool that'll unlock the mysteries of our existence and pave the way for humanity's next great adventure, the quest to understand our place in the cosmos. Picture this, nestled amidst the rugged terrain of Chile's Atacama Desert, a team of intrepid explorers is hard at work crafting a technological marvel that's set to revolutionize our understanding of the universe. Meet the Extremely Large Telescope, or ELT for short, a beast of a telescope perched atop Cerro Amazonas, standing proud at a breathtaking altitude of 3,000 meters. Talk about reaching for the stars. But why this remote, inhospitable locale, you ask? Well, hold on to your space helmets because this desert oasis offers something truly unique. Over 320 clear nights a year, free from the interference of pesky city lights. It's like having a front row seat to the greatest cosmic show on Earth. Now, let's talk numbers, shall we? With a jaw-dropping price tag of nearly $1.5 billion, this project is no small feat. And get this, construction began not with a ceremonial stone, but with a bang. Quite literally. Explosives were used to level the summit of Mount Amazonas, paving the way for this monumental endeavor. Fast forward to today, and we're witnessing history in the making as the ELT takes shape before our very eyes. From the massive concrete slab forming its foundation to the towering dome that will house its cutting-edge technology, every detail is meticulously crafted to withstand the harsh conditions of the Atacama. Speaking of technology, let's talk mirrors. And no, we're not talking about the one in your bathroom. The ELT's primary mirror is a prototype of extraordinary proportions, measuring nearly 39 meters in diameter. That's bigger than any mirror currently in operation. And when it comes to collecting light, this bad boy puts even Galileo to shame, gathering a whopping 100 million times more light than the human eye. But the magic doesn't stop there. With 798 hexagonal segments composing its primary mirror, each meticulously crafted for maximum durability and performance, the ELT is poised to unveil the cosmos in unprecedented detail. And let's not forget about its second mirror, the widest of its kind globally, standing tall at over 60 meters high. This mirror is ready to capture the wonders of the universe in all their glory. Now brace yourselves for a journey through time and space, because the ELT isn't just about peering into the cosmos, it's about rewriting the history books. By amplifying our capacity to observe celestial phenomena by a factor of 5,000, this revolutionary telescope will allow us to journey back in time, unveiling the secrets of the universe as they unfolded eons ago. From the birth of stars to the formation of galaxies, the ELT is poised to uncover the mysteries of the cosmos like never before. And with its sights set on uncharted territories, who knows what wonders lie in wait? One thing's for sure. With the ELT leading the way, the universe is ours to explore. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments.